and she was um, burning a house fire in, in the bushfires mm -hmm. in Winmalay. I left her in the house and got the dog out before the, before the house caught on fire. From near tragedy... We found a photo of her the next day on Facebook, um, and that's where we went and got her. ...to triumph. This is the real-life story of a six-year-old cat and the vets that made the entire loss of a house seem almost insignificant. Hey, Molly. Are you licking your feet? Come on, darling. It's time to go home. Hey, sweetie. Hello. Oh, darling. Come on. You get a cuddle? Oh, October 2013 saw some of Australia's worst bushfires ever. The fire front covered a huge area, including some of the worst damage to wildlife, family pets and private property that residents living in the Blue Mountains had ever experienced. But disasters often bring out the very best in people. Yes, I wasn't sure what they could do for her, because she was so burnt. Probably didn't realise till we came down and saw her just how burnt she was, because I didn't see a lot of her on the day. David took her back up to the bed, so... Yes, so, but she's done very well, and they've done an excellent job here with her, and we're very grateful. She came to us right at the end of October, so about eight weeks ago now, and um, she was unfortunately caught up in the bushfires in the Blue Mountains, and she um, was trapped inside her house. Uh, the owner luckily got out, and the dog got out, but she was trapped inside the house and um, locked in there, but she managed to survive the house burning down. She escaped, I believe, through a window, and um, the poor owners were distraught because they thought she was... She was burnt, but um, some, some kids found her uh, the next day, I believe. And so, anyway, she was badly burnt on all her feet and she ended up with us to look after her. Well, it costs a lot of money to have um, a cat in a vet and they've done lots of, what do they call them, skin grafts and they've looked after her and loved her and all this. So, yeah, they told us from day one when she came down here that um, there wouldn't be any charge for this and they were happy to do what they could for whatever it would take. So that was wonderful. She's probably had a good $15,000 worth of work, something like that, with multiple surgeries and being in hospital eight weeks and all of the medication she's been on, antibiotics and pain relief and had multiple anaesthetics and bandages. Um, but um, we wanted to do something to help these owners. They Absolutely. lost everything, so we, we funded that. I have to also say that um, one of the drug companies offered to provide some of the disposables mm. as well, so we've had support from a couple of... of um, companies, drug companies and also pathology companies. So you can see when you look at her head how her whiskers were all singed off. They're just growing back now. They've had eight weeks to, to grow some more whiskers. And her little ear tips were all singed and she's now got hair starting to come back on the ends of those. She lost the tips of her ears. And her fur is still kind of rough at the end where it was singed. I think that's where she had something stuck to her fur back here. She has a burn on her skin there. She's got new little fur on her feet where the, where the skin was taken from her body. So she has new feet. She does still have some wounds that are healing on her the tip of her um, ankle joint, but this is all new fur. You can see all the black is new fur because she's got black feet now where they were white before. And same with the other one. Well, it's pretty obvious Dr Sarah and Molly have bonded, but after eight weeks of multiple operations and an unfamiliar environment, Molly's ready to see her mum and dad again. You're going home today? Well, somebody's home. <laughs> Maybe not your original home. Hey, Daddy. Sorry. Look, he's here. Is that mum and dad? Yeah, we've got to look that way. <laughs> you want to go out the door? So, is this the luckiest cat in Australia? Molly's certainly used up at least eight of her nine lives, but thanks to the vets at Springwood who initially cared for her and the loving care and generosity from the team at Animal Referral Hospital, she survived to finally go home again with mum and dad.